Welcome to the Tricky Chronicles. Volume 5. Hey everyone, so this time the interns are taking over the Tricky Chronicles. I'm Bitsy and I'm the Media Relations intern this summer. And I'm Antonio and I'm the Communications intern for this summer. We're really excited to share what happened during our June race and everything we have in store for you for the July race. So normally we have a word from our CEO and President Brandon, but he was unavailable. So today we have the next best thing. It's Mark. Hey race fans, my name is Mark. I'm the Corporate Partnerships and Sales Intern at Pocono Raceway. I'm very excited to be interning this summer. I'm a diehard NASCAR fan and I hope to bring the same passion that I have for NASCAR to my position at the Raceway this summer. In this episode, Antonio and Bitsy will be discussing upcoming Pocono Raceway events. I hope to see you and your family in fanfare at the corporate displays on July race weekend. Mark is really a die-hard fan. Yeah, he was basically my walking NASCAR dictionary all race weekend. <laughs> well, now let's get to this recap. Our race weekend took place June 3rd through 5th. As far as racing goes, in the ARCA series we had the general tire, hashtag anywhere is possible 200, which Grant Enfinger won. Kyle Larson picked up the win for the Pocono Green 250, which was the first ever NASCAR Xfinity Series race held at Pocono. And Exalta returned as the title sponsor for the Sprint Cup Series Exalta We Paint Winners 400. Kurt Busch claimed victory there. And as always, there's tons of other events at the raceway. For example, Jimmy Johnson had his Rockets to Race Cars events. Dale Jr. and Casey Kane did some Q&A on Sunday in the Chalet Village and Joey Logano Fan Club hosted an event as well. For our infield campers, we had the grand opening of the Bart Park, which is the first dog park located at a motorsports venue. The JRM Tour made its way to Pocono with the Junior Nation Campground, featuring exclusive events including an autograph session with JRM Xfinity drivers and a fan Q&A with Kelly and Hart Miller. What a weekend it was. Wow, that was really fast. <laughs> it was definitely an exhausting weekend. It definitely was, and I'm sure Mark enjoyed it as much as we did. Let's check back with him to see what he's up to. Hey, Mark. Oh. Hey, 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 Roger. What are you doing? Just driving the pace. Just driving the pace car. Just driving the pace car where? Uh, just practicing, you know. Just. Okay. Well, why don't you get back to work? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I'm not really sure what that yeah. was. Probably the craziest side of Mark that we've ever seen. Yeah, he's definitely a wild one. But we should probably get to our next segment. Are you talking about in the news? You bet. So the first story that we have for y'all today is the Pennsylvania Wing Fest will be coming to Pocono Raceway August 13th. Um, admission is $10. Kids 48 inches and under are free. There'll be tons of vendors and tasty wings for everyone to try. Pocono Raceway's annual poker tournament will be held July 28th at Mohegan Sun Pocono. This event featuring NASCAR drivers and NASCAR celebrities will benefit the NASCAR Foundation and Philadelphia-based Michael's Way. And also on the following day, we have our annual Kids and Scouts Day. Admission for adults will be $10. Kids 12 and under are free. We have tons of activities going on all day for children, um, bouncy houses, face painting, and much more. Um, also, it is our mascot's birthday, Tricky. For more information on those events and the other ones that we have coming up, you can visit PoconoRaceway.com slash Chronicles. But we also have a lot more coming up in July, which yep. Antonio will tell you about. Definitely. July race weekend will be jam-packed with the Arca Mod Space 150 on Friday, the trucks coming back on Saturday for the Pocono Mountains 150, and the NASCAR Spring Cup Series coming back on Sunday for the Pennsylvania 400. There will also be youth and a youth autograph session with Dale Earnhardt Jr. And Jimmy Johnson will be back with his experience, as well as some driver appearance at the Tricky Triangle Club. I had the experience to sit on at the Tricky yeah. Triangle Club last race weekend with Casey Kane and Dale Earnhardt Jr. and it was really cool to see how interactive the drivers were with everyone. But we should probably get going before they realize yeah. that we stole all the cameras. Yeah, I don't want to lose my job before the July race. Definitely. So, see, see you in next July. Time. Bouncy houses, face painting, and much more. You know they were doing this? Um, I had no idea they were doing this. I wonder who put them up to it. Well, it wasn't me. It wasn't me either. They did a pretty good job, though. They did a very good job. Think they're coming for our jobs? I'm starting to get a little bit worried that they're coming for our jobs because this was well done. Think it's on YouTube yet? 
I'm afraid it is, my friend. We just watched it online, so it is now on the internet. Crap.